Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. We're now joined by <laughs> Joe Gomez. Mate. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Welcome. Right, Thank uh, we're Thank kicking you. things off with some quick fire. Now, okay. I said to Andy, it's not on the clock, so if you want to elaborate, you can. Okay. First up, hardest opponent you faced? Ooh. I mean, naturally, like, I guess a cliche, but Messi is obviously... It's a very good answer. Yeah. Don't that, worry about saying yeah. Messi's the toughest. Yeah, but there's other like players, I guess, who have like given me a hard time. I think playing at fullback is probably more direct, mm. like difficult afternoon. Like it's a lot of one on one sort of defending and fullback. Yeah, isn't it? so like those direct wingers, like Asane. Yeah, mm. when he was at City. Um, so yeah, but I'd, on a whole, I'd say Messi. Same same answer as Andy. Mm. <laughs> Don't give him all away. <laughs> yeah, what? I mean, Messi's quite hard. Messi's quite hard to plug yeah, into. No, you know no, what I mean, no. <laughs> Robo give him a bit as well, didn't he? In the game, yeah. right? I remember seeing that squared up with Sun, didn't yeah. they? Um, who's your hero growing up? Probably Henri. Just because I was... Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yes. the man, isn't he? I think because I was a London boy, my dad supported Arsenal and it was like the pinnacle yeah. Henri. Like, he seemed like a superhero. So, Henri, I'd say. He still is my superhero. But yeah, he's... What a guy. So cool. Uh, pizza or pasta? Pizza. Yeah, yeah, see, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah now yeah. we're talking. <laughs> We've got a real guy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. <laughs> imagine, no imagine, settling in, imagine being hungover and ordering pasta. Yeah, there's no chance. No, no way. way. Robo's not. Don't let him fool you guys. And help <laughs> <you>. <laughs> uh, best night out. I'm really chill. I don't drink or like, as in. Like what to do or where? Where? What t- oh. city? Or oh, oh, oh both. Or if you both, go yeah. to the other one, yeah. For me, it's a chill one. But like if I was going like, I don't know, a couple of years back, we we had like a little trip and it was Barca. And nice. that's like, it's a really nice city. Like yeah, yeah. you can walk everywhere yeah, yeah. and like, it just seemed like a nice vibe. So I'd probably say like a Barca just because I wouldn't be like, Club orientated, yeah, 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 yeah. So I just pick a nice. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, it? it's quite it nice. Did actually, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Too much walking for me, actually. Uh, well, we we might know the answer to this one. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give it away. Give it away. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What's your go to like Starbucks order? Do you know I'm like quite standard now, like not all this frappuccino and like. Yeah, same. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What no, is it? It's, it's not it even sound, a coffee, no, it's a milkshake. No, no, it sound, no, it's actually not this reasonable. It's a, it's oh, a milkshake. No, it's a like sugar-free vanilla latte of coconut milk. <laughs> it sounds worse than it is. It's just a, it's a vanilla latte or sugar-free to be healthy. Straight and coconut out, milk. I'd, be fair, I'd have that, though. Yeah, see, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd have that, to be fair. Going at me, I'd dare you. <laughs> yeah, but I'd go... To be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll drink that. Like, that's... that's Once that's, you start on it, I'll... That's a nice order. And now uh, I'm embarrassed to say I'm really enjoying the gingerbread lattes that are coming out. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they yeah. Are, they're really comfort when you're driving. <laughs> um, <laughs> last, di- last ditch tackle or last minute winner? <sighs> I've never scored, so I can't say I know the feeling of a winner, but I'd, I'd love to to find out. So I'd probably say last last minute Knee winner. Knee slide into the corner. Yeah. I don't know if I'd have the composure to know what to celebrate, how to celebrate. But Oh, you haven't got one pre- prepared? I've never scored. You've got to prepare for it, man. It's going to happen. Yeah, well, one day, but I'd say, yeah, winner. You should actually prepare. Well, you when you did yours. I didn't know what to do. I freaked out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be the same. Uh, win the Prem or win the Champions League? Um, I, at the time, I'd say, like, when we won it, the Prem felt big because of the history and... Mm. But, like, if you said today, then I'd probably go back to Champions League. Champions League. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Well, we know this one now. Night in or night out? <laughs> yeah, night in. Sure. Same, uh, yeah, yeah. same as you? Yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, Favourite YouTuber? Wow. If any. <laughs> I'm a big YouTuber. Like, really? Yeah, I don't really watch TV and I'm, I'm heavy on YouTube. I've got a lot of um channels that I probably... Like, it depends on where my head's at, whether I'm in a, in a more chill space or mm. I just want to like a bit of escapism and I might throw on like a podcast. I like American football so there's one called I Am Athlete, The Pivot. Those are like NFL yeah, sort yeah. of. Who's your NFL team? Probably the Rams. Interesting. But no, no particular. I went to LA a couple of years back and I just, 
Pick last, the champs. Pick the current. Yeah, last year's team. Like, <laughs> That's a good decision, yeah. Bit of a glory hunt now. <laughs> um, if I'm more like, oh, I want to have some productive time, then like, I probably feel like a self-development. like Or like a, yeah, like there's one called Impact Theory, like Tom... Tom Bill you and that's more like mm. educational and it depends on the mood but that's cool man yeah like I'm, I'm big YouTube I, I never watch Sky or do you know Chris MD Chris MD no I can't say I don't worry about no. <laughs> sorry man I, I, knew, I, I wanted that <laughs> he's like my arch enemy oh, okay. um, Messi or Ronaldo <laughs> um, oh, probably Messi just yeah it's a bit more Enjoyable to watch, isn't it? <laughs> He's there right now, yeah. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> but I, mass, like, I respect yeah, Ronaldo's, yeah. like, for me, they're both, like, they're both just, just class, appreciate both of them, yeah. man. Like, they're unbelievable. Uh, worst dressed at Liverpool? Hmm. I think Adri's up there. Interesting. Robert say Adri. No, 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 no. We're not giving it away. <laughs> I think yeah, Adri's up there just because. <clears throat> but he's he's that like, he embraces it. I think. No, he... <laughs> the other day, the other day he had like a a Burberry jacket, but it was a reversible one, so you could either go black yeah. or the Burberry print. And he went with the. And he reversed it and he made sure he wore it. So it's like <laughs> decisions like that. Just, for yeah, me, it's, just, yeah. it's just been different. He embraces it, so yeah. it's like fair enough. Who did Robert say? Uh, Nat Phillips. Uh, but then he also said it was questionable. Yeah, he was yeah, like, he you, rocks it though. He's, but yeah, like, yeah. But apparently, no I one in like, Liverpool has bad no, style. No, but I feel like just, if, 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 you to, if you have to name the, name the worst dressed, like you're going to say, but they rock it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, but, yeah. No, but Nat will, like, he's the type to have Crocs with all the badges and he'll rock it. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. the badges. So it's fair enough. <laughs> like, he's not just wearing the Crocs like he's tried and he's. Yeah, he's a collector. Doing his thing. Yeah. Best dressed? Hmm. See, Verge is my guy. Verge is up there. What's what's what about Verge's style? Is it that it's just yeah? I probably more relate because it's just clean, like not really too much of the brands. Okay, just clean, like mm. of some boys are just up to date with the latest Go LV. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's not really a big thing to me, so yeah. probably Verge most. A little bit of a deep one, I suppose. But what's the hardest part of being a footballer? Um, I guess like the like the lack of separation, like in like your home life, and mm. it is kind of our responsibility to control that. But I guess like it's constant, isn't it? So it's like there's not really much time to like. Yeah. It is down to like us as individuals to go home and be able to shout out, but. It's like the next game or the traveling yeah, yeah, again yeah. or like, and it's a blessing. Like up for me, like definitely with my injuries, it put it's like I'm forever in a space of gratitude. Like yeah. having perspective of thinking if like my career is in doubt or am I going to be able to get through this? It's just like I'm constantly thankful. But if I like consider myself an introvert, say that gets like socially drained and stuff, yeah. then it's like yeah. It's heavy, like especially in the city like this. It's like it's intense. Yeah, but so, what, what was it when you were growing up? What at what point did you think between between that? I feel like there's like always that line of like, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it mm. to? Oh, this is actually happening now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm actually progressing with my career. What point yeah. was that for you? I think when I came, like I I was pretty sure I had made the decision to come here with the view of going on loan straight away, and when I started playing. I guess you always have that sort of doubt, like, can I do this? Mm. And when I started playing, obviously I got injured quite quickly, but it, it gave me some reassurance. Like, I can, I can do this. Like, I can play yeah. at this level. Um, then I sort of had the doubt again with injury, and then as I started building my way back in. I wouldn't say it was like a. It was just belief in myself. I didn't really get that complacency. Like, yeah. I'm, I've made. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. It was more just belief. Like, I can. I can do this. Like a gradual process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know what it takes now. I've got to work my way back into that again, but I know if I'm at my level, I can... Yeah. I can compete. So you've spoken a little bit about um, the surprise factor, I suppose, of um, being in the place that you are and earned it. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone at Liverpool that surprised you 
greatly in terms of like maybe Matt Epps is capable of got a forty five yard shot in his locker or um any, like, people's shocking... attributes. Yeah. Mm. When they joined we're like that took yeah. me by surprise. Yeah. To be fair, when I joined, like it was like everyone. Like, <laughs> oh club. <laughs> this is different. Like yeah. I think noticeable one like standout was Phil like seeing Coutinho train and I was like whoa this is different like yeah. this is world level mm. like top top player like um I f I'm trying to think since I've been here who came um it's kind of because you kind of know them before that yeah, but, yeah. Like, if they're coming here you've heard of them already so it's like yeah. you know the attributes um, what about in the dressing room maybe they've joined them just instantly you know when someone just like, clicks with clicks with like the boys mm. um, good one I, I think Robo was like it wasn't straight away but like now you couldn't imagine it without him yeah like he came and then he's such a presence now yeah like within the dressing room like you don't not hear him so it was like just seeing how he just stepped into his role and then came with like an energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a, a real positive, like loud yeah. <laughs> yeah. aura. I think Verge, like, just we, we had a trip to Dubai like the week after he came and like that just made everything seem at ease. And he's a just, club one? Yeah. Okay. A team one. Like, we all went. Not just you and Verge. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, like a team one where it was like just that like, team bonding. Yeah. And I think that just made that effortless as well. You were, sorry, yeah. you were speaking of the dressing room. Who's mm. the uh, resident DJ? If there is one. Usually, yeah. like, we've played football. Usually there's a... We have, like, it's it's a bit of a shambles, to be fair. Because, like, on paper, it sounded good. Everyone choose a song, put it on the Spotify playlist. Oh, so that's like, an awful tactic, by the way. Because you've got, like, 45 different that's genres. What I'm man. So, like, we'll be going from Drake to then, like, Mo's song will come on. <laughs> before and it's like completely like obviously a different language yeah. and different tempo and then we're up here <laughs> yeah, before yeah. the game then we're down and then we're we, we tried one at um, our local like uh, Power League yeah. group that we have like a Spotify playlist for and it's like Pendulum tell to Miley Cyrus. Yeah, see? <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You never know, made it. Oh, it's good to, song but it's just not a back when I was playing for Seaford we, uh, they let me in charge one week and I found a song which gets me going every time. Go on. It's so bad. Ellie Goulding Burn. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even judge it. It's actually class. <laughs> like, it actually that. is class. What, <laughs> what's your go? If you put one song, that'll get you hyped for it. Oh, yeah. You're one that and you And it put can on the, be Ellie Goulding Burn. I think what's that's the one it. that you put on the group playlist? Oh, man. It can be Ellie Goulding Burn. Mate, it's actually sick. Trust me, if you play it loud, like, you're like... I'm, I'm guessing Ellie you're not Ellie, Ellie Goulding Burn. Burn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, like, the one I put on is probably more safe, like say for me like thinking upbeat but when I'm personally listening I'm really I listen to really chill like you probably think I was going to sleep if you put my headphones on like, <laughs> I listen to classical music so I completely yeah like, like or lo-fi have you heard of lo-fi yeah, like, yeah yeah there's always those like 10 hour playlists on YouTube yeah that's that's, that's like where the guys just walk in yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like rain in the window yeah lo-fi yeah. study beats or like I'll be listening to that before a game just yeah. cause I'm not one to like... Oh, or soundscapes. Yeah. When you listen to like Rainforest. Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't go that far. Putting that... I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, I, I could have... Draw the line on that one. <laughs> but that one like, I probably would go to sleep. But... <laughs> yeah. That like, yeah. is you all over there. Like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. It's yeah, probably meditative, that. Meditative, isn't it? But if I was putting something to play, I'd probably go like Drake or Little Baby or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Who, then, was your, uh, who was your idol as a kid? Obviously, Henri, but like, was there like... Because you're a centre back, right? So yeah, like, uh, Rio. Well, versatile though. Like, was yeah. there anyone you looked at you could play all over? No, Rio. Yeah, Rio. I think because he was from London, like he was a proper ball playing centre half. Yeah. Um, yeah, I massively looked up to him. Like, yeah, as a kid, like he was like my idol for sure. And before we finish, let's get a all-time five-a-side team from you. Yeah, you, uh, can, you can be playing if you want to play with the ball. It's them. official, official on the car, mate. Little drone, you like it? So Liverpool five-a-side. Uh, yeah, or you can do all time. all time. I say all time. Okay, we'll do all, all time. time. Every player, all time. Any yeah. player, retired, still playing. Wow, my football knowledge isn't great, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so there could be some wild shots. Hey, you do well on here, don't worry about that, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all time. Wow. Uh, goalkeeper. 
oh, he's a great. And they need to play a bit, don't they? Because five sides, yeah, they man. need to like. Good with the feet. Alison. Yeah, I'd probably say Ali. Vo- like, genuinely, did actually say Alison. I genuinely would time. say. Because yeah. like, if I think back to like ones like Arsenal, Layman, I'm not really sure he could play it now. Yeah. I know like Peter Schmeichel, all of these, but if I'm picking someone to play, Ali. You need something full playing. What will I go? Five, a one. Well, one, you're the one. Two, one. Nah. No, you're the one. Yeah, we, we, this is <laughs> how we do it. Yeah, we, nah, you're nah. the one. You're the one. And nah. captain. Mm-hmm. I, I'd say Rio. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We well, can still win with him at least. You'd yeah, be, yeah. yeah. I'd say Rio. Roll and roll off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd say Rio. And then the two, I'll probably play two in midfield. I'd go Zidane. I think he'd do that. Like, yeah, five all sorts of midfield. Well, yeah, man. five aside. Ronaldinho. Oh, mate. For sure. You said you didn't have good ball knowledge. What is this? How about these are common? Like, <laughs> I guess in this sense. And then up top, yeah, Henri. Straightforward. He, wow, he, I yeah, think before, that'd be some team. Before playing Sunday League, I used to watch uh, Zidane compilations. Yeah, <laughs> no, before, before the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, that was like me with Jogger Benito. And oh, really? Be in my living room. I remember the advert on the boat and they dropped the ball in down the car. Oh, yeah, that was, that yeah. was amazing. Uh, mate, that's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us, man. I really appreciate you, man. it. Nice um, one, guys. Yeah, all the best for the season, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys.